Guys, welcome back to the channel. Thank you for stopping by, taking your time. You're awesome. Everyone who is new, my name is Alexei from We Love Samples. You're awesome too. Welcome on board. So today I would like to talk about an issue that I came across uh, a couple of days ago when I wanted to do um, a setup for me in order to play my MIDI keyboard, record through a screen software. In this case, it's ScreenFlow. Uh, you can have something else, but the issue is that when we record it, we have a very, very high uh, latency on when I play this instrument uh, due to that Apple decided at some point that they will change the audio system, so the um, audio device inside their new chip. I'm talking about everything above 2017, so all the Macs they built um, from the year 2017. Probably because you're watching this video, you have more uh, information about this than me. However, because I just ran it a couple of days ago, I thought like it can't be that there is no solution. I couldn't find any solution. This is why I create this video and I try to uh, make it clear what I do uh, because it works. Okay, so uh, you have to think a, l a little bit um, like... Um, beside the corner basically so not like oh it's 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 screen flow fault or apple's fault uh there is a very very simple solution if you do use an audio interface and you have one line cable um and uh your issue is basically gone because everything that i will show you i do it right now everything works um and it's very very simple so let's dive into it. I'm not really prepared. I just want to make sure that everything that I tell you and um, yeah, show you is very understandable. I try to make it clear. Uh, maybe it will take some time, but you will, uh, yeah, you will just understand because it's super, super simple. First of all, um, we open our DW as we usually do, right? And then when we choose what uh, recording, uh, so the screen recording software we use, uh, they have all um, special like audio um, plugins right inside their software to record the um, the sound of the whole system. So I use ScreenFlow, and when we go to the audio uh, preferences, uh, usually the playback device when we record everything um, inside the computer, so the whole system, we uh, set it to telestream audio capture this is the normal way so basically if i would not do like this setup right now i will do exactly that because i can um you know record uh, like for example something from itunes or from the computer i i can record my voice with a microphone i can record something that i play over the internet etc so uh, this is the, the usual way. However, when we start to do it with this setup, with the Stellar Stream or your um, audio uh, capturing uh, software from your uh, screen uh, capturing software, it will not work because when you start to play your contact instrument, you will have a super, super high latency and it's not possible to play because it's just pain in the ass. It's so uh, much in latency, it's not very uh, professional. So it doesn't make any fun. So here I just choose my audio interface. I do have a Scarlett 18i20. So I choose both and I set the device block size, so the sample size, the latency uh, basically, um, to uh, so low so i can just play the instrument without any any issues this is the normal way if you're not recording right your uh screen so you do music record music uh compose produce music yourself without showing people what you actually do so this is the first step okay okay so the next thing is we open up your um uh, software from your audio interface. So as I use Scarlett, the um, the company is Focusrite. So Focusrite uh, has this um, interface for 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 the for the interface. So 
um, here important is when we play the contact or the, 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 the MIDI keyboard, right? So the, the contact instruments. On the right side, you see DAW1 and 2. Those are the two major outputs from your DAW. So when I hit it, we hear and see that it's uh, going here right now, right? And then because my uh, headphones, uh, uh, I hear 7, 8, those are the outputs, I hear it obviously as well. Technically, um, it goes obviously to all the outputs that the interface does have. So your interface, um, if it just has a one or two outputs, most of the time uh, you just, if you have a smaller interface, you have one uh, and two outputs. So just two outputs left and right. Um, what you need now is to plug in a line cable and plug in back into your analog input, the first one. I will tell you that both cables, so to record your stereo sound inside ScreenFlow will not work. I tried it out and I couldn't understand why ScreenFlow doesn't record uh, the left and right channel uh, separately. So basically what I hear through ScreenFlow, this is my screen capture software, I just hear one channel uh, on the left side and the same channel on the right side. So basically I just have this mono signal in front of me and I don't know where uh, this, um, um, uh, basically this mistake is. So the mistake is not with the interface inside Focusrite or uh, my fold or uh, whatever, it's screen flow. So I tried many different things and it uh, just couldn't work because everything that I hear obviously is my stereo sound. So when I play the higher octaves, right, I um, hear the, the more to the right side. When I uh, play the lower octaves, uh, I hear more to the left side. This is what we usually do um, when we play like pianos and uh, synths, uh, those types of instruments. Um, so now is when I hit right my keyboard, you see that on the left side, because I plugged in the line cable, we see analog one. This is what you uh, need. Uh, I plugged in analog two as well. So I have two line cables go, go in, into the first uh, two inputs, but you don't need it. You just need one. So analog one, you see that we do have uh, the signal. So basically when I split them apart, uh, you see um, like analog one, analog two, it's the same signal. I don't know why it is this way, but whatever. Um, then uh, the next thing is, yeah, we just go to uh, screen flow, right, as usual, and then we go to the recording um, uh, preferences, and then you choose, because screen flow does show you uh, the, um, uh, all the inputs, that the interface does have. So ScreenFlow recognizes all the inputs that your interface does have, and you choose the inputs that you need. So basically, for my situation, and I don't think that you will have something different, so basically you choose analog input one as your uh, piano, or what sound you want uh, to play uh, with, your, um, with your session and you need your microphone because you record it at the same time. This is like the setup that I wanted to have. So as you see, I'm talking. So I record, I play, I talk and everything works. So when I record it, um, Everything is fine. It's just like this mono signal. There is no other solution. Um, that's the yeah, basically the the um, the con of of the whole uh, session here. But I mean, I don't have any delay, so I play without any delay. the The only delay that I set obviously is uh, at my uh, preferences, and uh, yeah, so you go as low as your interface uh, can handle right and that's it so it's it's great uh, it works 
So I couldn't, again, I couldn't find any solution online. I searched it because I just wanted to record some instruments and show people, uh, you know, uh, yeah, some, some uh, chords and uh, teach some um, melodies and whatnot and just play and test out uh, uh, instruments, like do some reviews. But I couldn't because like this Telestream capture audio right um, device couldn't handle this delay because Apple uh, made a new chip and this uh, ScreenFlow, like, uh, they, they couldn't do anything. So uh, it's not the fault of ScreenFlow, it's not the fault of Apple. Uh, Apple has to make an, um, like, uh, upgrade or update, but uh, yeah, they didn't. So I thought it can't be that we buy it, you know, ScreenFlow uh, in the year of 2021, uh, you know, and then we can't do anything what we basically could do like uh, three, four, five years ago, because people in the forum, they uh, said that with ScreenFlow 6, so with the older Macs, everything is smooth. So there is no like this delay issues. Uh, so it, it runs perfectly. But with this newer Macs from 2017, uh, it wasn't possible. So I thought as an audio producer, hey, it, ca it can't be like that we have this issue and then just plug the cables, the line cables out of your uh, line output, plug into your audio input one and record it, set up your gain obviously so it's not distorting uh, and that's it. So it's super, super simple, super basic and it works. So if you have any questions or I have missed something that is important, I just wanted to run through and make this uh, walkthrough. Uh, if you have anything left, just make sure to drop me a comment. I try to get back and answer your question if I know the answer, obviously. Um, yeah, if it helped you and you, you, you see that, hey, it does, uh, you know, uh, work for you as well, give me a thumbs up. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see me and the channel again. Share this video with everyone you know uh, that, uh, you know, does have the same issue. You can buy me a coffee, join my private Facebook group if you like um, additional help. And yeah, so this is <laughs> what I wanted to share today. Guys, thank you very much for watching. Take care, have a beautiful day, and I will see you in the next video, guys. Bye. Boom. Swag on overload, boy. Swag on overload, boy.